Hi there, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up this little development environment so we can get started on our project and get started on learning uh, Tonal JS and all the other things. So first, we want to make sure that you have Node.js installed on your computer. And so go to nodejs.org and download and install the, the latest recommended version for most users. And in my case right now, it's 12.14. I already have this installed on my computer, so I don't need to do it. But if you don't have it already, I recommend that you do that first because we're going to need the uh, NPM package manager, the node package manager, so we can install different things with that. So go ahead and do that first, pause the video and come back when it's done. So now that you have installed Node.js on your computer, another thing I want to recommend that you use is Visual Studio Code. That's a plain text editor it's really simple but again it's also very you can do a lot of different things with it uh, you can use a lot of different plugins and uh, it also has a built-in terminal so you can use that so that's why i recommend that you use use it you don't have to use it but um, if you don't it's your own fault <laughs> anyways uh, if you don't have that go ahead download it and install it on your computer and then we want to start using something called Parcel. And Parcel is a blazing fast zero configuration web application bundler. And that's, I guess that's true. So what it does is it bundles all of your JavaScript, all of your, all of your stuff, all of your uh, assets together. And, uh, and it gives you access to use ES6 syntax that you otherwise would not be able to use. And it gives you a live browser reload as well. So I think we should use that. And I'm going to click on Get Started first to find out how we do that. So before we install this, I will create a folder for our project on my computer. So I will go to my hard drive. And I think I want to, let me see, how about in Documents, I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to call it, um, just let us just call it projects and in here I'm gonna make another folder and let's just call it core stuff it doesn't really matter what you call it right now but now that we've done that I'm gonna take this folder and I'm going to open it up in our visual studio code editor that you just installed and you can see we're already in here I'm gonna close down this welcome window so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the terminal and I will do that by going to the menu and select new terminal. So as you can see, we are already in the folder that we just created. But before we can do anything, before we continue, we need to install the, the parcel bundler and I'm going to copy this here. Or actually, I'm just going to just going to make this smaller and go here. We already have the terminal open. And I'm going to go, I'm on a Mac, so I need super user uh, administrative rights to install this thing. So I'm going to write sudo and then npm install. I'm going to put the G flag for global, which means that we're installing this package globally. And it's called parcel bundler. And it's going to ask for my password. I'm going to enter that and then... All we have to do is wait for it to install. It can take some time. So now that it's installed, I'm going to go ahead. And, and as you can see, I'm still inside the same folder where we're going to create our project. So I'm going to write npm init to initialize. Uh, package name, court stuff, that's fine. I'm just going to press enter all the way here. Is this okay? Yes, it's okay. Yep. And as you can see, a package.json file has been created here. So that's great. So the next thing I want to do is create a folder here. And I'm going to call it source. We don't have to do that. You can keep it in the root, but I like to have a source folder for my files. Uh, and inside this source folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to create index.html. 
just like that. And we're going to need a JavaScript file as well. So I'm going to right click new file. Let's just call that index.js. Okay. Inside my index file, I am going to write HTML. I'm going to type that out and then I can select here and just uh, hit the tab key. And I'm just going to get this, this set up, this normal HTML5 setup. And let's call it something core dictionary. The next thing I'm going to do is link to my, um, my index JavaScript file from the HTML file. So I'm going to type out script and source is going to be, whoops, it's going to be equal to index.js and it's already typing that out for me here. So now it's time to get this up and running. I'm just going to go to the terminal again. I'm going to type out parcel, P-A-R-C-E-L. And I'm going to point to the source folder and the index.html. I'm going to hit enter. And it's magic. It's almost like magic, but it, uh, it actually created a distribution folder. And uh, it also gave us a URL. So if we uh, copy this and open a new tab in the browser, we will see that something is actually going on here. And I can see it's called Core Dictionary. So it's probably the right file. Let me just inside the body, just uh, type out an H1 and say, yo. And I just saved here and you can see it automatically updates in the browser. So we don't have to click reload all the time. So let's make sure that our index.js file is also hooked up to this setup. I'm going to go to the index.js and I'm going to console log something. What should I console log? What should I console log? Maybe hello, hello, what, hello, what? No, hello, what? Nah, it's so hard not to write hello world. Hello universe. That's way better. And I'm going to save that and I will right click and click inspect and then I'll go to the console and we can see that it logs out hello universe so everything is hooked up every time we make a change over here it will reload the browser and everything will uh, take effect but before we continue to the next video and set up tonal JS uh, let me just add another file because we're gonna need some style so I'm gonna right click on source on the source folder and I'm gonna click new file and styles dot CSS. I'm going to create that one. And I'm going to go back to my index file. And here, just before this one, I'm going to put a link. Oops. And it's going to be styles.css. So let's also check if that has been hooked up. Let's just. Uh, Just give it a green, green. Oh, if I can spell green background. And I'm saving and it works. So that is wonderful. Let me remove this again. So that is how easy it is to use parcel. So see you in the next video.